let's start with the first chapter and the first main topic, information and its fundamental importance. But in what way is it fundamental? Information is as fundamental as physics itself, physics being the most foundational of the natural sciences. Physics deals with the essential components of matter, such as atoms and elementary particles, and describes forces such as gravity, electromagnetic forces, and others. These are bedrock scientific concepts, and information has been recognized as one of the most fundamental scientific concepts. We're relying on scientists like Carl Friedrich von Weizsäcker, a German physicist and former assistant of Werner Heisenberg, who is said to have been eligible for the Nobel Prize, but was denied it for political reasons. John Wheeler, Seth Lloyd, and Anton Zeilinger, all eminent physicists, philosophers, and natural scientists, saw information as the most fundamental concept of nature. They all considered information to be even more fundamental than energy. Energy, of course, is supposed to be more fundamental than mass because, simply put, E equals mc squared, as Albert Einstein found. According to the understanding of these physicists, the universe, on its most profound level, does not consist of matter or energy, but matter and energy can be derived from the concept of information, quantum information. Here it is displayed as a qubit, or quantum bit, a unit of quantum information. It can be displayed mathematically in the form of a sphere. Most people, be they scientists or laypersons, know the energy mass formula E equals mc squared. When you multiply a mass by the square of the speed of light, you get the amount of energy contained in the mass. The same energy can be applied to information when applied to the age of the universe. What is the age of the universe? It is about 14 billion years old. So the older the universe gets, the bigger it gets. It expands and contains even more information. On the right side, you can see the famous information formula with which Carl Friedrich von Weizsäcker related information and energy. Many renowned physicists hold the opinion that information possesses not only energy, but also mass and weight. In his most well-known statement, the eminent physicist John Wheeler postulated it from bit. It means something. Anything can be it, and the bit is information. Essentially, you can derive substance from information. It was also Wheeler who said that everything in this world is the quantum of consciousness. The first place where an it, for example a bottle, appears is in my consciousness, or in your consciousness, or in someone else's consciousness. From this, we can deduce that there is an external world through which we communicate. But the first which appears in consciousness is not the it. What first appears in the consciousness is information, and so we can justifiably say it from bit. In this sense, the bit is more fundamental than the it. The famous Austrian experimental physicist Anton Zeilinger, also known as Mr. Beam, was the first person who succeeded in teleporting a photon from one side of the Danube River to the other side. So let's take a look at how quantum teleportation works. If you want to transport a particle from one side to the other, you do not transfer its energy. Because there is enough energy, you transfer its information. If you transfer the information, it works at the speed of light. The same particle you scan over here can appear on the other side without any transformer effect or energy transfer. So the energy is already there, you just need the information. As an example, what is the difference between an electron and a proton? They contain different amounts of mass and different amounts of energy, but they also contain different information. According to a group of physicists such as Carl Friedrich von Weizsäcker, Seth Lloyd, John Wheeler, and Anton Zeilinger, the entire universe is just one giant information processing device. It is a quantum computer that basically calculates itself information is the only thing that is really flowing here. The German philosopher, priest, and semiotician Professor Johann Heinrichs once asked a very important question. Do you believe that there is only information? If this were true, there would exist only monism or oneness. There would be no dualism. This monism would exclude everything else. 
But that is not the idea. When we speak of information as being fundamental, it means that it is just one of the basic concepts in nature that cannot be reduced to another. It is not about reducing information to energy or information to consciousness, because all three are different and also fundamental things. As you can see in this four-valued ontology, on the y-axis there is the complementarity of matter and sense medium, which in German is called Geist, and in Greek, Logos. On the other axis, there is the I and the U. From an ontological point of view, I and U are fundamentally different because I is always only one and U can be many. If you think about yourself, you are the I and everyone else is the U. But when everyone else thinks about themselves, they are the I and you are the U. This means that the I is interchangeable. The important thing here is that there is a relationship between the I and the U which is constituted for reality, for objective reality. If we delve into the depths of each pole, they have a structure of four. Four is a number that is very deeply rooted in ontology. But let us not get too deep here. The important point is that information and energy are on one axis, or to be more precise, the energy momentum, because in relativistic physics, in the theory of general relativity, space-time emerges from the energy momentum tensor, which is based on the density of energy and the flow of momentum in space-time. On the other side, there is information, whereas if you look into the sense medium, it has a physical and mental, a social and a medium aspect. The physical aspect is the physical information field, which contains the psychological information field, and then there is the social information field, which, for example, appears in the form of culture and art. In addition, there is a medium type of information field, the logos, which we don't call information field anymore. What we are interested in is the middle part of the y-axis. Here, the material side of the sense medium is a physical information field, and here is information. What is the difference between information and the information field? The information field is in fact information with meaning. It is information for something or for someone, and it is activated by meaning.